It is a hot one out there, Mark. That is for sure. We were talking about it yeah. at five, and you saw yeah. Nick out there had to take the jacket off, roll the sleeves up, and uh, it's just gonna stay hot. Yeah, it's just it's one of those times where you get used to this maybe late July and August, right. but yeah. we're still in June. I mean, we, <laughs> Let's crank it down a little bit, but we do have to uh, deal with a couple of hot days before we can start, start to at least finally back off our temperatures. And as we look at storm track weather headlines, rain is hard to find, and often that helps to at least break the heat some, but it continues turning very hot with 100 plus degrees in the feel like temperature category. We're looking at 100 plus in a few spots already. And just a couple of reminders, stay hydrated with water. Make sure the kids are hydrated the night before. I know there's a lot of all stars or travel sports going on right now. And even if the kids are just going out to play outside, don't forget that they need to be hydrated the night before. And for those of you who want to get out and work in the yard, maybe get out and do a little bit of work. I'm like you, it's just it gets oppressive and you have to take breaks to cool your body down as often as possible. And don't forget, for kids who are at the lakes as well as the pools, they can still get dehydrated even though they are in water. So that is something to keep in mind if they're going to be out there for an extended period of time. Temperatures right now range from 91 in Gadsden and Birmingham to 90 in Anniston. Well, you've cooled down to 87 in Shelby County. It's 89 for those of you over in T-Town. But this is what it feels like. 102 right now in Tuscaloosa, 6 o'clock in the evening. That gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here. 100 in Hamilton, 99 in Jasper, low to mid 90s through East Alabama. And looking at the uh, temperatures across our area as far as the next couple of days, this is where we have to really start to pay attention. There is not a heat advisory in effect yet, but that may be changing. The National Weather Service is considering that. And the reason is, once you get to 105 in a pretty broad area, that's what the criteria that the National Weather Service uses for a heat advisory. And again, it doesn't sound that uh, threatening as far as an advisory. Normally we're talking about warnings, but either way, 105 and higher, that's where we can start to see heat exhaustion as well as dehydration. This is Friday, all of us looking at triple digits. Once we get into Saturday, well, then we're talking about 108. Look at that, in Aniston, 105 in Talladega, 108 in Alex City. And all of us will see these temperatures in the low 100s through the day on Saturday. So you've certainly got to prepare for that, especially with tournaments going on or whatever you may be doing. Any event, make sure that there is a way to cool. No rain other than a couple of light showers that popped up earlier. Those didn't amount to much. But this high pressure, which controls our weather right now, it's just the problem we have is it limits the rain. Air continues to sink and that heats it. And winds from the south help to continue to bring in more and more moisture across the area. So dew points will be in the mid 70s. That's going to push our heat index values up. Not much in the way of rain across our area throughout the night tonight into our Friday. And rain chances, about 5% of our viewing area will get a shower or two. That's about it. Our models are trying to bring a little bit more rain in here, but I just don't see that's going to happen. Little better chance as we get into the weekend, though, as this high pressure finally starts to break down a bit. Here's your storm track seven day. Look at that high. That's the actual high. 97 heat index is going to be the most dangerous part. Rain chances start going up, though, finally a bit by the first of next week.